Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on probability and we're going to look at exam questions. So, here is an example of a probability exam question. We're given a table with red, yellow, blue, green and pink. And the probabilities are 0 0.2, 0 0.1, x, 0.15 and 0.2. The question says... The above table shows the probability of getting the colours on a spinner. Find x. So the first part of the question, we need to know one thing. We need to know that the probabilities will always add up to 1. So what we need to do is we need to add up the probabilities that we've already got. So we add up the 0 0.2, the 0 0.1, the 0.15, and the 0.2. The only thing is, to be very careful that we add these up properly, the 0.15 here has got two decimals in it. So we're going to make all of the numbers have two decimals in. So we'll make the 0 0.2 0 0.20. Make the 0 0.1 0 0.10. And the bottom one will make 0 0.20. This will help us when we add up these probabilities. So let's add these up. Well, that's 5 in the first column. 2, add 1, add 1, add 2 is 6. Keep the decimal in the same place. So we have 0 0.65. So when we add up all of the probabilities, we get 0 0.65. So we need to know how much more we need to get 1, because probabilities will add up to 1. So we'll do 1, take away the 0.65, so see how I've made the decimals the same in each one. And we'll work that out. So we need to borrow from this one, makes it a 0, makes that a 10. Borrow from the 10, makes it a 9, makes this a 10. So 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 6 is 3. Keep the decimal in the same place. 0 take away 0 is 0. So our missing number to make it add up to 1 is 0 0.35. So x equals 0.35. 0.35. So we'll get a couple of marks for doing that. Now let's have a look at part two of the question. I used the spinner 200 times. How many pinks would I expect to get? So first things first, we need to know the probability of a pink. When it says it in the question in our table, the probability of a pink is 0 0.2. And we're doing the experiment or we're spinning it 200 times. So we need to multiply these two numbers together. So the probability is 0 0.2 times 200, which is how many times we do it. And if we have a calculator, we can do it on a calculator, and that will give us the answer of 40. So we would expect to get 40 pinks if we did the experiment 200 times. Okay. On the following page here, we have two tables with questions for you to have a go at. As always, if you get stuck, ask your teacher for help. Good luck.